Wheels. It's your boy Redneck TV back here. And today we're putting this motor on this mini bike. And we're gonna send the hell out of her till she blows. Got our old pal Micah with us today. Help us speed up the process of this motor removal and install. And if we get this thing running quick enough, we might just go fishing. Due to my current tool situation, it would take me about 14 hours to locate every single tool I need. So I went ahead and bought some bullshit. The water got in. I guess the roof's leaking. Giant wood bee hole right there. <laughs> oh, sweet. I love wood bees and everything I've done. <laughs> you really think I'm gonna start on this thing? First, before we do anything, we gotta freaking back us a packer. So if you partake in the... Boy, if you don't... So if you partake in the bullshit, then please... You ain't got one in. Pack one with me, y'all. You got backer? Uh, uh. You want that bit? Oh. The mud jug we're spitting in today is my favorite, Cerakote Gray Sniper Splatter Mud Jug. Mud Jug is a spit tune. It doesn't spill. If you want to be an all-American badass, all you gotta do is go to the link in the description, mudjug.com, get you one. Roshonda. The tires are Wanda's. Wanda's? <laughs> Wanda. W-A-E. Front one Cosmo. Hey, look, I found a kind of marker. Really? Yeah. Maker! Hey, Sucky dry. Eat some lunch with you. Okay. Okay. Nice one. Okay. Oh. Four hours. Auto parts. Yeah. Smack the chest mount on. Man, hell, I wouldn't buy a shop, man. Take this gas tank off. And this motherfucker don't ride a wheelie with this new motor on it. I'm taking the governor out. Need some snippers. Them ain't snipping nothing, bro. Where are my catfish skinners? Oh, where'd I go? I need that. So. No, 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 no. Can't waste a good tank of gas. Right before it blew up. Filled her full of 93. Whoever's told you Milwaukee bits aren't the best thing ever invented, they lie to you. Metal shavings in the carburetor, bro. Looks like a motor that's ready to be taken out. Oh, mud jug. Hold the motor up. It's about to come off. Now, we got a bicycle. Put some pedals on it. Hook the chain back up. Some kind of mountain plate you're supposed to buy, but, uh, no. They really do look the exact same. I like that light bar you got on there. Might not have the fastest four-wheeler at the park, but you got the brightest. Fancy. Fancy new motor. Yeah, no. Oh, oh, oh. I got two bolts through it. Tack welded have been fine. But I got two bolts through it. Why the fuck would I buy a mountain bike? No doubt in my mind, I was ready to plug that welder up. Lay the fattest fucking bead I've ever laid in my life. Damn. Did this motherfucker put a tack weld right here? <sighs> Anthony's right here. What the fuck? Why? Why would you tack weld that fucking bolt on there? Just so nobody could ever, in a million years, put a fucking exhaust. Good way. Good way. Hammer her back up. Put the bolt back in. Worry about her legs. Get some more galvanized steel. <laughs> in my book, that's what we call fuck. I flipped the camera around because I noticed my hoof ball was getting in the way of the angle, but at least we got audio. I like your thinking, Micah. I like your thinking. Here, let me... No, I don't mean that. Who's in this one? I'm here. Sprayed all of them. Oh, he's trying to come out, right? Hey? I'll hear him make some Spraying that side. He's in one of them. You can hear him going. Oh, he fell! <laughs> 
down in there. I heard zzzz. There he is. He's pissed. I hear him. Feel it. Mm -hmm. Do that. Snip his head off so it's quick down. Long, slow. <laughs> long, long, slow. What are you? Oh my, Mr. Woody. Ah! <laughs> That was some brutal shit there, Byron. 30 fing holes up there. All the way around. Interrupting my day. Getting wood shavings on the can. Damn, that ain't okay. Ray. Shadow <laughs> Legends. Anybody that's ever downloaded that game is just trying to support their YouTuber and immediately deletes it. Hold that ranch there, Byron. And this one does not have a ventilation system on it. Sweet. Probably use an old car. This kill switch actually works. Kinda gonna feel smart about myself. Brand new old. Let me yoink that bitty. Almost out already? I don't know, it's just starting to taste a little burnt. Yeah, you can take that back. <laughs> yeah, that'll work. That'll work. Spot down. I'm gonna meet up. Gosh. Damn! Bless you. Bless you. Bob Welch died. <laughs> I think it'll work. You throttle works. Kill switch should work. Possibly work. Is that the bitty? I think it's safer to run it without an air filter though, because of the exhaust. I don't want it to get valve float. Little gray crushed sleeve. Uh. Thing is, the sprocket's connected to the crank. So, uh. Crank track swap? Motherfucker, that pisses me the fuck off. Where's my phone? Ordering a fucking clutch kit. Where's it at? Well, I got some bad news. Here's the stock clutch right here, right? Putting it all together. Everything, the whole entire swap's and bolting up perfectly. But, yep. Oh yeah, there's always gotta be something. Yeah. Damn thing's too small, so I'm gonna have to get a new clutch. But, let's see if it runs. See if the damn kill switch works. out here at the Ohio River. We're at a little flood spot right now. We're gonna cast the casting net out a few times. See if we can't catch a damn thing to catch a catfish with. Well, I'm gonna kick the tater sacks off. Going in raw. This is a four fit, so it might be a little bit harder to throw than a, like a little three foot or something. You know what we didn't bring? Fucking bug spray. Well, Micah, looks like we're going to be building our immune system up today. You ain't got bug spray in the truck? No, no, no. Don't even ask. Just put the loop? Yeah. I mean, that's common sense. You know that. The chunk, throw it up over, grab on top, throw it up over, grab on bottom, throw it up over, and grab a hunk of weights. Watch for snakes on a plane. Shitty fucking throw. Let me try throwing the camera. Just one throw over. Look. Let's put it up over. Grab some. Yeah, this one's way easier to throw than that one. I might actually catch something like this one. Two strings on it. it just needs to be tied back it ain't a big deal at all and I, uh, yeah, yeah. I don't really see much movement you no. 
I learned today that bigger isn't always better. Cast the net, pissed me off. We're probably gonna use it as fire kindling. Yeah, I got a big one. Did you really? Yeah. Really? I got two of them. I mean, not a bunch, but... What the fuck? Are they live? Yeah. That's fucking crazy. Where? I throw a fucking casting net out. Can't catch a motherfucking thing. And then Micro does a burnout and gets some fucking shad. That is fucking hilarious. Burn out and all the shad come to the surface. <laughs> the title of the video, Micro Does Burn Out, catches more shad than casting it. That's too shad. Micah, how the fuck did you get a shad? I didn't fucking burn it. I'm jealous. I ain't gonna lie, I'm, I'm coveting. I'm sending right now. I'm coveting over you, Micah. Getting a six and three four foot net, figure it out. Thought five foot was hard. Let's see a real challenge. <laughs> hey, look at that. Yeah! Now that's fucking worth the 20 cast right there alone. I love you, Nitty. Can I get a Dale? Yeah. We use him as cut bait. Oh, that was a good throw right there. Got another one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll say we can probably head out. <laughs> Woo! We caught us a catfish! Hell yeah! First catfish in Kentucky! Yeah. Cook them up on the fire. Got some cinnamon liquid. We feeling good. Yeah, cinnamon liquid. But I caught a catfish, so that's all that matters. I caught a little channel. Uh, Back son of a bitch. that thing's pregnant. Dude, I'm telling you, he's fat. Hey, a catfish a... like gar, like you get eggs on it. Dude, look then... how fat that motherfucker. Good girl, you about to get skinned alive. Yes, you are, but I fucking heard zoo, zoo, zoo. Zoo, and I was like, fucking, no, I ain't got a fish on. I yeah. set that fucking hook so hard. Hell yeah, brother. Dude, I ain't, I didn't know a catfish even existed Did anymore. Did we bring a stringer? Yeah. All right, let's go get that stringer. You're not going back in that water, no siree. Oh, again on my own. It's a fat cat. I got through its lower jaw. Glad I swore they were exempt. They were about to have a meal. <laughs> Got me stole my cigarette. Is that a channel? She's a channel. It's a channel. So you hear that flare? It's a <laughs> channel, not a fucking blue catfish channel. And you know what, flare? I caught mine. Don't you cry no more. You can do it. Get mud on it. Ah! On the dorsal. Ah! That's what you get. <laughs> okay. It might get burned. <laughs> I caught it though, so. No matter if you got fishing license or not. Those are eggs. I want to cast out there again. Once we just, once we just, that's caviar. Damn. We're gonna throw those back so they'll get bored. Jason bored. Air bladder. All right, y'all. We got two catfish fillets. We got this boy skinned up. He's skinny. Gate. All right, y'all. We got a. Uh, we got the catfish in the pan. Oh my God. We put I some seasoning catfish. on it. Some vegetable. We're gonna see what she tastes like. Tony's, we put some curry, salt, pepper on her. Lemon pepper, vegetable. She's gonna be good, buddy. So how have you been doing, Micah? Uh, I caught that catfish and I'm just laying out right now. Oh, you're just tired. You ain't drinking no, no substance since you just was having your body at this age, have you? Never. 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 Absolutely never. 
I was definitely not drinking five Budweiser's and slammed half a bottle of f***ing Fireball, but I'd never admit to it. All right, y'all, we got the catfish cooked up. Here's what it looks like. Micah's gonna get a taste test on her. There's your plate. Get you a piece. Yeah. That's what like. we're looking like. I'd say Chinese restaurants just need to fucking shut down because they don't know what the fuck they're cooking. That tastes pretty good. Hopefully it doesn't get poisoned because it's Ohio. Alrighty, back at the house, cooking up some Chinese chicken, orange chicken, and some homemade fried rice. We got home about 8.39, and we was gonna leave at like 5.36, but we went up to the truck, tried starting it, <coughs> our battery was dead. And then we had to wait an hour and a half for somebody to come out there, jump us, so yeah, it was, pretty shitty but when i got home i just hit the sack i've been sleeping for the majority of the day but after i eat supper i'm gonna go to the office edit this video right here up for y'all so yeah that's what i'm gonna be up to dang look at that fluffy rice homemade long grain two cups of water to one cup of rice but yeah if you're wondering how to make fried rice you just put it on a pan or something flatten it all out and i put it in the freezer for like 20 minutes let it all cool off and then right in the pan fry it up with some soy sauce it's delicious. Hands down, best meal I've ever made. All right, folks, got the video edited up and my lovely girlfriend was kind enough while I was busting my ass editing to clean up the house. I think it looks damn good in here. But I got a question for y'all. How the hell do y'all get rid of these damn gnats? I left a few dirty dishes in the sink when I went to Florida. I came back, I have a whole colony of gnats living in my house. I've tried the little apple cider vinegar, dish soap and sugar method. It doesn't seem to be working. And I even bought some of the damn tarot traps and there ain't a damn gnat inside them. So how in the hell do I get rid of them? Can't even leave my damn nanners out on the table. Gotta put them in a grocery sack because these damn things. So yeah, if anybody knows or has got a tip for what I can do to get rid of them, let me know. But yeah, I got a huge surprise for y'all. Want y'all to meet a new friend, a new family member. Pretty girl. Yeah, she's a pretty girl. Yes, she is. Uh-huh. Yeah, she's a pretty girl. I've had her almost a week now, a little over four months old. She's had no training whatsoever other than what I've taught her. Adrian, sit. Give me a paw. Good girl, good girl. She's very excited, jumpy. I mean, she's just real young. Got it in her blood to be like that, so she'll grow out of it eventually. Just gotta keep telling her no. Nope. Nope. No jumping. No jumping. No jumping. <laughs> You'll never guess what I named her. You ever watched Rocky Balboa? You know, his wife's name was Adrian. So bam, that's Adrian. But I know a lot of y'all are thinking, dude, what the hell? That puppy's probably gonna get Parvo too. Well, here's the deal on that. This puppy lived her whole life outside on a chain. She had two elderly owners and one of them's going to a nursing home so they couldn't take care of her anymore. So I didn't want the puppy to be homeless so I went ahead and took her. But the only reason I accepted her is because she's had her Parvo shots and everything else. Not to mention I bleached my entire house out three times. I bought this special chemical that kills Parvo virus, sprayed it on my couch, bought this other chemical that's even stronger than that, put it in a Rule King sprayer and sprayed my entire yard out and my house out again. So I truly think she would be fine. If I didn't, I wouldn't bring her here. But anyways guys, I'm gonna hop off here, get this video rendered and uploaded loaded for y'all really hope y'all enjoyed today's video if you got a single tickle of entertainment throughout watching this please let me know by leaving this video with a fat thumbs up and if you want to see more videos like this go ahead and hit that subscribe button going to be uploading more and more videos just like the one you saw today it's a bunch of useless and pointless content edited into a somehow entertaining video don't forget to turn post notifications on that way you get notified every time i come out with a new video and yeah hope you'll have a wonderful rest of your day i love y'all no homo later Thank you